At CheckCherry, everything centers around your packages, so let's take a look at how to configure them. To start managing your packages, go to Manage, and then Packages. On this page, you'll see an overview of all packages grouped by type. Let's click the Photo Booth Gold package to see more information. We can now see all of the details for our package. This is probably the most important page of the package management process, so let's take a look at some of the most commonly used options. First, you can change the name. Some people will name their packages using something like bronze, silver, or gold, while others might prefer their, to name their package something like open air photo booth. You can also choose to upload an image over here. This image will show up on your booking page, so you want to choose something that looks great. Down here we've got a few different statuses. Setting the status to public means that this package will show up on your book online pages and is bookable by the public. Private means that it's available for booking, but that it won't show up by default. And disabled means that you don't want anybody to be able to use this package for booking. When somebody clicks a link to a disabled package, it will simply send them back to your main booking page to choose something else. Going down the list, we've got our pricing options. Our pricing options have a lot of flexibility to accommodate different use cases. Most of our customers choose to enable the hourly billing, and we'll set a starting rate along with an hourly rate for overages. Others might choose to have flat rate pricing without an option for additional hours. And down here, you can set a deposit, either based on a percentage of the total event or a flat rate. And finally, in your package description, you can provide an overview of exactly what this package includes. When your customer reaches a page with multiple packages, it will be helpful for them to be able to compare at a glance what each package includes. Make sure to clearly differentiate between your packages so that customers know why they should upgrade to a more expensive package. And finally, if nobody has booked using this package, you can click this link at the bottom to delete it. Now let's go back to our package overview. You'll notice that we have three levels of organization here. At the top level, we have our services. In this case, a photo booth service and a DJ service. CheckCherry was built to be able to accommodate multi-ops from day one. One thing that we found early on is that different service types have very different booking management, booking and management needs. I'll cover this more thoroughly in a later video, but for now just know that editing your service type allows you to configure things like whether your users whether you require your users to choose a photo booth background, what you call your event attendance, and overbook options. And ultimately, how you choose to organize your packages is up to you. So if you're not a multi-op, you might prefer to name these services something else, or just keep everything in a single service. The next level is what we call package groups. So in this case, we've got photo booth. Down here, we've got wedding and school. This is mostly just to allow you to group multiple packages together. But we've also got some options here if you want to change the look and feel of your booking process. You can always click the gear or just click the label itself to edit any of these things. In packages, we've already discussed. You'll notice here that we have options to change how your packages were sorted. So if you want to sort them automatically by name, automatically by price, or just handling the sorting yourself, you can do so. If you choose to sort them manually, you'll see little arrows down here. So I can move this package down, and back up. You can also click this button to easily make a copy. So if I want to make a copy of my photo booth silver, I just click that, click OK, and I've got a new copy of photo booth silver. But I don't want to keep that, so let's go ahead and set the visibility to disabled so that it doesn't show up in our booking engine. So great, we've created our packages. We're happy with how they look. Now let's see what the customers will see. Let's go click up here and go to our multi-step booking. On this page, I can see all of the different package groups I've created. Photo booth, wedding, and school. Let's click photo booth. And on this page, I can see at a glance all the packages I've created, my silver, my gold, my platinum. And I can see what they include. And I can also see what the base price is. From here, we'll collect the user's event details and your customers will be booking events in no time. 